Hey everyone, in this week's video we're going to talk about how the food that you eat every day, especially your breakfast, has magnetic properties. But before we get into that, let's talk real quick about the hummingbird. The hummingbird is a fascinating creature. They are the smallest birds that migrate and they migrate over 500 miles and they often migrate alone. That seems so very sad. Interestingly enough, they don't have a sense of smell and they use their eyesight and that is the reason most of the time hummingbird feeders and the food inside of them are dyed red. That red dye, however, can cause a problem and there are some very dedicated hummingbird enthusiasts out there that says the red dye is causing more harm than good. So they suggest using clear food that you can make yourself at home or buying it without the red dye in it. And as you can clearly see, the hummingbirds that we have coming to our feeder are perfectly happy with our clear hummingbird food. That's it for the hummingbird feeder and we're going to get back to the lesson. I don't get to use the telephoto lens that often so I just thought I would. This week's video will show you how every day you are eating pure metal. I tried to illustrate that point to my kids when I called them down to eat breakfast the other day and they were really happy about it because that usually means I'm cooking Mickey waffles for breakfast, but not today. Today I told them for breakfast we were going to be eating metal, essentially pure iron, and for that reason I put a cast iron skillet on the table and said bon appetit. And while my daughter was a little bit skeptical, my son, the garbage disposal, will eat just about anything. When they finally decided against eating pure iron and going for a more traditional breakfast, I reminded them that the skillet is made of iron and therefore magnetic, and I also told them that the food they eat on an everyday basis also has iron in it. So so if the skillet is iron and is magnetic and Cheerios have iron in it, well then shouldn't they be magnetic as well? That is what we're going to study in today's demonstration. Today's demonstration is really fun and continuing our recent series of videos which focuses on doing fun and super easy science experiments at home. Take for example our make your own cloud experiment and also how to measure the size of the electromagnetic waves being produced by your microwave oven in your kitchen using nothing but cheese and a tape measure. So go check out those videos if you haven't already, I'll leave a link in the description down below. All that you really need for this experiment is a blender, a Ziploc bag, some cereal, and some water. And you don't even really need the blender if you have the time to just crush up your cereal in really small pieces. The first time I did this experiment, just to see if it would work before I got the kids involved, I used honey bunches of oats. And as you can see, all I'm really doing is pouring it in the blender, adding some water, and then turning it on. The amount of cereal that you use is not really that important. And while I used honey bunches of oats and it worked great, my kids eat Cheerios on a pretty regular basis and we ended up using that for the video and it worked just as well. Take your cereal and put it in the blender. The more cereal you use, the more iron you're going to get and the more impressive the demonstration is. Then just put enough water to cover the cereal and make it easy to blend. After you have blended up your cereal and water mixture, carefully pour it out and into a Ziploc bag. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you close that Ziploc bag pretty tightly or else you're gonna make a mess that you regret. Trust me on that one. Once you have your blended cereal in the Ziploc bag sealed real tight, grab your magnets and here comes the fun part. And before I show you the really fun results, let's talk a little bit about iron and why it's so important. Iron is a naturally forming element and it is the most abundant metal in Earth. While it only makes up about 5% of the Earth's crust, scientists believe it makes up about 85% of the entire inner core of the planet. And archaeologists have been saying that people on Earth have been using iron for over 5,000 years. The Eiffel Tower is made up of pure iron. And because of that fact, it has to be repainted every seven years. Every seven years sounds pretty excessive. The Eiffel Tower weighs over 10,000 tons of pure iron. And every seven years, it takes 60 tons of paint just to repaint it. So iron is essential for construction. Iron is also essential for plant life because it actually helps form the building blocks of chlorophyll inside a plant cell. And iron is absolutely essential for human life as well. And while we're going to get into the specifics of that in much greater detail in a later anatomy and physiology lesson down the road, just know that iron plays an integral part in forming red blood cells that help carry oxygen all over our body so we can live and breathe. So let's go back to the experiment and see if we can use magnets to pull out the iron from the cereal that we eat every day. If you have traditional magnets, they will work, but the effect is not nearly as impressive. You can find rare earth magnets at most hardware stores. For some reason, I have much more luck finding them at Home Depot than I do at Lowe's. They're always at Amazon, and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. The great thing about these magnets is if you take care of them, you can use them for many other experiments, and some we've already done on the channel already, like making a simple electromagnetic train, or making dancing battery figurine, using a copper tube to show how you can defy gravity. So again, they're a pretty good investment for your homeschooling or any educational needs you might have. We took several magnets and taped them to the end of a chopstick so we could fan over the bag and our fingers wouldn't obscure the view. If you look closely, even as we just approach the Ziploc bag with our magnets, you can start to see chunks of Cheerios being attracted to the magnet as it's brushed across the bag. A 
If you take the time to slide the magnets over the entire Ziploc bag, you will actually slowly accumulate chunks of iron that you will be able to visualize. Here you can see the iron filings that we collected in the air bubble being attracted to the magnet through the Cheerios. And here's a different shot. It really never gets old. If you bring them to the side of the bag, you can really have some fun with it. And here's the close-up shot we teased at the beginning of the video of the iron shavings just dancing around. It's so cool. Everyone, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned a little bit something about the metal that's in your food and why we have to eat it. There will be a worksheet accompanying this video that will be downloadable from our website pretty soon. The worksheet for last week's video is already posted, so go check it out and download it. Of course, it's completely free, and it's also something objective you can give your kids to do just for your homeschooling record keeping. I hope you have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.